Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how we predator proof the bottom of our chicken coop and chicken runs. I do have an open bottom chicken coop. There is no floor inside that chicken coop. That's the way I like to do it for various reasons. I believe it's better for the chickens and it works better with our deep litter method. I'll go into that in a different video, but today I'm just going to show you how we predator proof the bottom of the chicken coop without even having a floor that prevents predators from digging in. And that's really what we're trying to prevent here. We're trying to prevent predators from digging in. So the materials and tools I'm gonna to be using today, I have a set of tin snips, I have a staple gun, some extra staples, and I also have this welded wire galvanized garden fence. This is kind of the middle, mid-grade option if you want to predator proof. The lowest grade option is gonna be kind of plastic or chicken wire. I really recommend against using chicken wire. I go with welded wire at the very minimum. This is in my opinion, kind of the minimum. Now you'll notice some of these holes are on the bigger side. We do not really have minks where we are or they are very, very rare if they are around here. Our main predators we're pre trying to prevent are coyotes and the occasional raccoon too. Um, but basically the, the main digging predator we are trying to avoid here is gonna be a coyote. So this is gonna do the job for the coyotes. If you live somewhere with minks, really those things can fit in very small holes. They would probably even be able to fit in this if they wanted to. Or other small predators that are gonna pose the threat to your chickens, I would really recommend going with a quarter inch or half inch welded wire or hardware mesh. The reason we're not doing that is because it is a lot more expensive. And for this area, I believe it's overkill. As always, I'll update you guys if I am wrong and someday we experience something getting through there. But this has worked for these purposes just fine for us. I'll leave links for everything below. Using chicken wire on chicken coops and in chicken runs is one of the biggest and most common mistakes we see people make. It is really easy for a coyote or a raccoon or a neighborhood dog to chew right through there. So I really recommend not using chicken wire, using something that has a little more substance to it. Again, this is kind of pushing it. I mean, if they really wanted to, a coyote or dog could probably bite through that, but I'm gonna take some steps to mitigate that. So I'll tell you about that in a second. Now you can just staple this to the outside of the coop. That's probably the most common way to do it, is to staple the hardware cloth. These holes, in my opinion, are too big to have near the opening of the coop. I'll show you what I'll do with them in a second, but that's probably the easiest, most common way to do it. My problem with that is I don't love the look of it. I don't really love this on the outside. We are gonna be adding stone, so it's gonna help a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push it on the inside and I am gonna secure it to the inside of the coop. Okay, I do anticipate that I'm gonna to have to do some digging here, but I kinda of wanna see what I can get away with without much digging. That's really our problem spot right there, so I think I'll just dig for a second. Okay, I've gone back and forth on whether if you're gonna kind of try and save some money and use this kind like I am on whether the big holes should be closer to the inside or closer to the outside. I decided to put them on the inside because I want this stuff to be doing the majority of the work. There is gonna be a little bit of these kind of bigger holes that are gonna be sticking out and unfortunately they will be closest to the coop. So most likely where a predator's nose is gonna be where they're digging. But again, I am willing to take the chances because coyotes are our main concern. I doubt that a coyote is going to try and get through this or the, my main concern is that they could probably bite onto this if they wanted to, but really around here for us, it's more about deterring them than anything. So I am pretty confident that this is gonna do the job. You know, another thing you can do if you want, a lot of people do like to dig out all the dirt around. They dig out kind of the foundation and then they will put this down and then they will fill the dirt back in. You're more than welcome to do that if you want to. What we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be putting some dirt on top of this, but we are also gonna be adding stone all around the coop. 
So the stone is gonna be kind of doing the job that the dirt would typically be doing if you're not gonna be adding stone. So if you want to dig it out, be my guest. You know, in my opinion, a predator is going to uh, be able to dig out the majority, unless you are putting this wire, you know, pretty significantly deep. If it's only a few inches, a predator is gonna get down there in just a few seconds. So I have a hard time seeing that much benefit unless you're really putting it down there. And in that case, you will be needing a lot more wire. Uh, we just got the three foot tall, but if you wanna do that, make sure you get something tall enough to go all the way down and then come back out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start pushing it under. Okay, so now we're on the inside of the coop. And as you guys can see, pulled this through. This is gonna be the actual floor of our coop. So we have a little bit of grading to do outside just to make sure that the water doesn't flow on in here, but I have had uh, dirt floor coops before. I absolutely love them. So here is the wire that we have on the inside, and now I'm gonna be securing it to the inside with staples. I am afraid that the staples that I have are a little bit short, um, so I'll let you guys know if that's the case, uh, but just look out for that if this is something that you're doing as well. Okay, I am gonna take care of some of this dirt because we're gonna have to do it for the grading anyway. So even though I'm not necessarily burying it, we're just gonna get rid of it so things are cleaner. Okay, so we do have a little more grading to do yet, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna finish this off. I'm just gonna throw some stone on top of it really quick. All right, so this is some stuff we had left over from kind of moving our driveway around. We've got a big pile of it. So I'm just gonna be doing a little bit right now because I might tweak this system a little bit. Uh, check the updates in the comments below if you wanna know if I tweaked it or not. I do know this is what we're gonna be adding around the border. It's gonna look really nice. It's gonna be harder, not impossible, but it's gonna be harder for the chickens to scratch out. And it's definitely gonna deter some predators. So especially once this dirt washes away, it'll actually look really nice. Okay, I spread it out a little bit and I forgot to hit record, but you guys kind of get the picture. This is uh, where we're gonna be and over time that dirt will wash away. It'll wash those rocks a lot cleaner and it'll look really quite nice when it's finished. Again, the key is it's not only gonna protect from digging predators, but it'll be quite difficult for the chickens to push it around like they would push around mulch or even just dirt too. I'm running out of daylight a little bit here, but in summary, here are the layers that we use to predator-proof our chicken coop with no floor because we like to keep the microorganisms, the good, the good sort of biome going on in the dirt for our deep litter method. So what we do is we obviously have a nice strong coop wall and then where the base meets the dirt, 
that's where we add some sort of galvanized wire barrier to prevent digging predators. This is the one that we chose that really seems appropriate for our environment. Another one to consider is if you have snakes, this one probably wouldn't work for you because they'd be able to slither right through there. So we add the wire layer, we staple it in with nice deep staples, and then we are adding stone to the outside of ours this time. Two things you can do if you want to up the ante on predator proofing your coop. Number one is you can use a really small hole and a very thick hardware cloth. I'll link some for you below. The more dense the hardware cloth, the smaller the holes, the more expensive it's going to be. That's totally up to you. Another thing you can do is get it to come either even further out from the coop. You'll need to buy taller stuff for that but to me this is plenty for now but the number two main thing you can do to make yours even more predator proof than this is to dig down if you want to again if you're digging down significantly you're gonna have to buy the taller stuff and especially if you're buying the quarter inch hardware cloth that's gonna get pretty pricey but it's totally up to you we have the stone for free always you can buy stone if you want to do that but if you're just digging in dirt uh, obviously that's gonna be free too. If you guys want to see this whole coop reveal, it is gonna be coming out in a few weeks. We are just putting the finishing touches on right now, doing some predator proofing, obviously. So make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see our new coop that we have spent a long time designing and building. I got a little bit of daylight left, so I better get to work on the rest of this here. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.